Hello everyone, B. Alfred Ostrowski here, Theory of Computation. This recording I'm going to be covering DFA minimization. So I'm going to go through an example and work through the heuristics involved at a general level of how to minimize the DFA. So let me write up a DFA and we're going to step through the process here. So here I have an input alphabet. I'll write my alphabet here. Let me see. Is going to be consisting of zeros and ones, okay? And I'm going to have six states that are going to be identified here. And I'm just going to number them appropriately. And I'm going to have three final states and three non-final states. So I'm going to identify it as state zero. And to DFA, so I'm going to have per my alphabet, I'm going to have only one output transition based on each input, right? So I have a state zero and on a zero or a one, it goes to a state three or a Q1 respectively. And the one is going to exist as a final state. One will transition on a zero to another final state. I'm gonna call it Q2, which will transition to itself on a zero. And on a one, it'll go to a Q5. This in turn will have its own transition to itself. And then finally, I'm going to have a Q4. This is another final state. So then I got three and three. Q4 on a zero to go to two, and on a one, it'll also go to five. And to round out the state three, I don't want to go to the four. So if you see here, I have three non-final, three final states. What's the ideal here? The ideal minimization of a DFA, okay? Or any state diagram for that matter, any finite Townsend is going to have one final state and one non-final, okay? And that would essentially uh, be the most optimal. So this is gonna serve as our goal to make that assumption that all these states can be folded into each other, the final states and non-final states. And the act of the minimization is actually determining that they aren't equivalent to each other and need to be broken out. So I'm gonna work from this ideal to whatever minimal representation, presuming that there is one. So my starting point with that assumption is to bring these states together. In this case, one, two, and four. And zero, three, and five. As my two perfect ideal states. And I'm going to go through the actual state representations individually, compare them against each other. And in this case, I'm gonna say one to two, one to four, and then two to four. I don't have to repeat two to one or four to one because I already did that. If I do it from one direction, I'm also compared from the other. And I'm gonna correspondingly go from zero to five, zero to three, zero to five, and then three to five. Okay, that'll cover all the permutations, assuming either direction, okay. So uh, so given that, I'm going to go through the activity of seeing how the transitions work in similar nature of going from the NFA DFA transition. So let me look at uh, between state one and two on my inputs here, okay. Zero and one. 
So on a one, on a zero, it's going to go to state two. And on a uh, on the two, on a zero, it'll also go to the state two. On a one, it's uh, uh, going to go to the Q5 or state five. And on the two is also going to go to five. So here I'm going to ask that question, are these distinguishable? And they, they aren't, they're virtually going to exactly the same state, which is a perfect uh, 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 representation, but they can actually go to uh, different states as long as they are in the similar category. Okay, it could have gone, they could, uh, for instance, uh, in this example, uh, the state two uh, could have gone to yet another final state on, let's say, a transition one. It could have gone to uh, um, um, four, okay, which is another final state. And until I make that separation or distinguish four from the rest of the group, then that would have been okay. So don't be fooled. Just because I have a perfect match, of course, this is a no-brainer of that question, but that isn't the exacting distinguishing factor, right? So let's finish this up and go from one to four. And I have one already here, so I don't have to repeat that. I'll just make that comparison. I could copy it if I want, uh, but that's not necessary, right? So on a, a four, on a zero, we'll go to two. And then a four on a one will go to five. So all three of these go, and most importantly, one and four goes to two and a zero, and it goes to uh, five on a one. So these two are not, are indistinguishable as well. Okay, so, uh, so for that reason, all three of these states exist as a suitable final state, okay? And I could fold in these three and combine the transitions and I can reduce it from six to four and eliminate two states already. But I'm not done yet because I have, still have to answer the question, is zero, three, and five distinguishable from each other to perform the effect of minimization, right? So, I can continue this activity again here. I can go zero on a zero, we'll go to three, and on a one goes to one. Three on a zero, we'll go to zero. And on a one, we'll go to four. So these don't match up as cleanly as these. So again, we have to consider we have to consider the fact that all these states act in the same fashion. And they don't have to go to the same state as it did with all the final the, the one, two, four final states. In this case, I have zero go to three and three go to zero. So zero goes to three, three goes to zero. They're both in this hypothetical state two. Uh, and that's okay, so they're really not distinguished from each other. If zero goes to one um, uh, and uh, on, on a one and three goes to four, now one and four are in the same uh, state as well. So this is still uh, indistinguishable. Why? Because one and four are in my, and they've already been verified up here as not being distinguishable from each other. So if I go to make the transition to the earlier states, but those states haven't been distinguished from each other, then that is as good as the same state. So this is still, even though it doesn't match up as cleanly as this, this is still zero and three are not distinguishable. So we continue to between zero and five. And with five on a zero, it goes to itself. And on a one, it goes to itself, okay. 
and this is compared to zero, which goes to a three and it goes to a one. So the one and five are, I should say three and five, okay. Um, are indistinguishable each other from each other because they are final states currently. Okay, but the one and five is a problem here. Why? Because zero, okay, on a one goes to a final state, and five on a zero goes to non-final. So this is um, final, and this is non-final. And just because of that characteristic, these two zero and five are not distinguishable. So in this case, I'm going to pull five out. I'm going to establish that as a new state. Okay. So now I have three states from my ideal to two. So am I done yet? No, I'm not done. Why? Because I have three states to consider. I need to examine my newly found states and the newly found and the existing transitions to make sure that they do not um, make any of the remaining states indistinguishable. So I'm going to look at one, two, and four. They all go to uh, five on a one, and that's five be fine because it is exactly the same. However, if I had one of these states go to, uh, for example, final state, uh, um, or itself, okay, then either this or this category, then it would be uh, distinguishable, but it's not. So one and four, one, two, four stands the same. And now I have zero and three uh, going to um, both one and four. So neither zero or three go to five. So they remain unaffected. So that is my final validation. Okay, I have examined each step and it's somewhat recursive in nature, right? Because once I partition a state, I have to reconsider all my earlier states and ask that hard question. Uh, are they still distinguishable, you know, indistinguishable from each other? In this case, they are just simply removing that uh, Q5 state. So now I can redraw this below here. I can say uh, zero, three, okay, that I have here, and uh, of my initial non-final states. And on a, a zero, they transition to each other, so zero and three, and zero and three are wrapped into each other, right? So it just uh, folds into each other. And then I have one, two, four from the beginning. And on a, uh, um, on a zero, they all um, folded back into two, which is in my new state, right? And this is a this is my final state, so I'm going to double circle that. And then on the one, they all go to five, which is my newly uh, partitioned state, which the five goes to itself on its own one. And there you have it. So that is my minimized uh, DFA. All right, once again, anytime I break something out and make it uh, distinguishable from each other, I need to examine all the existing relationships because I may upset some of the earlier analysis given that assumption that I had that perfect uh, relationship of all my non-final grouped as a single state and all my final grouped as a, uh, a state. So this, recurses through in a little bit, okay, due to the fact that I have to make these further comparisons. So there you have it. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Take care. Talk to you soon.